Hello everyone, I'm Dancer and we are back in the Humgrave Zoo. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unpause so that this keeper there can go and feed those meerkats that are starving. Um, not good. I believe last time we hired more staff to take care of that. Yep, we have five keepers now. Um, we do have prote protesters, um, but they should be going away soon because these meerkats just got fed. Um, so that should be all good and taken care of. Now, last episode, if you missed it, we did go ahead and add in the Nalias? Nalias? I can't remember how to pronounce it. I do apologize. Um, oh, they're so cute walking in the water. Um, so yeah, we have two females and one male i do believe um, now who's hungry why are they so hungry go eat food if you're hungry oh the nialas are about to mate let's see wait didn't you yeah you are gonna have offspring and you are going to have offspring that is a naughty naughty boy uh, but this episode I figured since it's been a little while uh, since I was able to record this game, I don't know, I just haven't really had the motivation, um, I decided that we're going to add in two animals and we're going to add in a little feeding area. Or, not a feeding area, that makes it sound like we're feeding humans, um, or treating humans like animals. Uh, we're gonna be adding in like a little cafe um so yeah i'm really excited this is like a huge area with no shade i wonder if we can pop an umbrella tree in here let's let's look at that um we want um, trees and then we want umbrella tree oh why are you snapping to or aligning to surface um Oh, this one's a good tree. We'll do that, and then that- Oh, I know why I did that, so you could see these buildings. Okay, well, never mind then. People don't deserve the shade. It's okay. It's okay. It's just hot for a little while, but when you just start walking down, then it's nice and shady. Um. We will be adding in more trees around here. You can also see that I did go ahead and add in a solar panel um, just to get everything over here um, powered up. And I think it's pretty, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hop into a time lapse. We're gonna be adding in a little food court and an observation area. And we're going to be adding in two animals. Um, and those are going to be a mystery until I reveal it later in the episode. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, I see a zebra swimming. This is a lot of water for the zebras, I'm now just realizing. Do you guys have, like, have enough room in your whole area? Oh yeah, you're plenty good. Okay, so that that is fine. Um, okay, it's... We're gonna hop into a time-lapse now. Okay. First of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching my episodes. Um, it really does encourage me to continue to record and make content for you guys. Um, and yeah, so talking about this episode, it is a bit of a roller coaster. Please... Don't leave um, when I say the episode is done the first time because it's actually not. I, I just wasn't satisfied. I couldn't sleep well knowing that that was the episode that I was going to bring to you guys. So I went ahead and I recorded a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this area turns out in the end. There is still more work we have to do on it. Um, but I will explain why I left it like that. Um, but yeah, so that is about it for this first little portion of the time lapse. Um, 
I thought that $17,000 was going to be enough, but then I put in food event or food and drink and info shops and then um we didn't have enough. So I guess that it wasn't enough. So I thought I was going to have enough money, um, but apparently not because we're negative. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and let the game run a little bit. We're going to fast forward and we're just going to wait facilities without power. Oh, all of those. Okay. I'm not worried about that. Um, here's what we got so far. Um, so far people are coming up here, which is fantastic. We love to see this already being used. Um, it's going to be the observation tower. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited. Okay, we have some money. I think we need at least 6,000 to finish this area up. Um, hopefully 6,000 would be enough, at least for this building. Um, oh no, it's raining and they don't have much cover. Um, oh, well, let's go ahead and um, see this. I'm gonna have a baby Niala. That will be exciting. Um, or not, maybe. Yep, there we go. <gasps> so cute. And you're silver rated. Oh my goodness. Let's look at that female with a ton of great stuff. Wow. Awesome. Okay. We are almost at our desired um, price here. Are we selling guest happiness? Oh, wow. Um, that's not good. Does that have to do with scenery rating? Why are guests so angry? Scenery rating is pretty bad there. Zero percent guest happiness there. That, that's not good. Oh, we don't have any garbage cans up here. Okay, well, I think um, after this rainstorm, we will hop back into a time lapse. Um, but I will go ahead and get some bins up there. Um, I had I forgot which ones we were using. We'll just duplicate. Let's actually um, do that. And we probably should just hire another caretaker. Um, because we expanded quite a bit. And yeah. So as soon as this rain is done, we will hop back into the time lapse. And we will um, hopefully finish this building up. And get our two animals in. Alright. I think that time has come. We will see you guys um, in the time lapse. Alright. We're back with about six, seven, $8,000. Wow. Okay. That was a lot more than I thought I had originally. Um, and yeah. Again, still not enough money. Because we're... What I'm planning to do is um, actually use boards to create a roof and make it look really nice and cool. And unfortunately, that is very expensive. Um, so we don't end up using enough or having enough money, uh, but it's okay. There's still another time lapse. And then I hope you guys are just as happy with it as I am. And also, let me know in the comments if you guys are wanting to see any the, of like the tips or tricks that I use creating this. I would be so happy to show you guys. So please don't hesitate to ask. If you have a question, please answer or please ask it. I'm happy to share my knowledge um, and make you guys the content that you're actually wanting to see. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching my content. It really does. Um, motivate me to create better content and yeah um so yeah we are going to add in a roof out of these planks 
and I think it looks amazing. We're going to use the little trick um, to do a circle, um, but then, you know, that's not really going to work, as you will soon find out. Um, but hey, it's all good. If you want to skip the rest of this time lapse, I mean, you do you, because I can't control you. Um, but yeah, so far I think, I think this roof really looks nice. If you are wanting me to download it to the workshop, or whatever it's called, I'd be more than happy to. Um, and yeah, so if you see, we have some dimension to the roof, and I don't know, I just, I really like it. And it adds a lot of shade, a lot more than you would think, for it still being open. Um, but then you can also see we're down to $1,000, and we still have a lot more to do in this building. Um, so that is kind of where this whole struggle for this next live segment comes in. Um, but don't worry, stick around. Even when I say it's the end of the episode, just stick around, because you'll be pleasantly surprised. I promise. All right, so the $6,000 was not enough, um, but I think that's all of the time that I have for the time lapse for today. Um, so unfortunately, we did not get the animals in, and I know um, that is a disappointment to all of you and myself as well, because I was really hoping to get these animals in. Um, but don't worry, we will be getting them in next episode. Um, so we're just going to fast forward time so we can get some more money. Um, so that we are able to then get the um, money in. And yeah, I'm surprised that that scenery rating did like nothing. It's a bit weird. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at guest happiness throughout the park. Um, overall, pretty good. I do see some red and some yellow, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but, you know, can't please everyone, so I guess that's that. Check out their energy. Most people are green, which is wonderful. Hunger, we can see there's some yellow. We got thirst. More guests are thirsty than hungry, which makes sense. And their restroom needs. Um, overall, really, really good which is awesome. We love to see that. Guys, I am so excited for um, getting these animals in. I do apologize um, since we weren't able to get them in today, uh, but you can kind of see the layout that we're going with. Uh, we can see we're going to be putting an animal here. We'll be putting an animal here, and we have the building here so people will be able to look back in on what they have in here. And I actually, let's, let's unclick that. I actually really like this roof covering. Um, I am going to edit it so it's kind of going to be split down the middle. So half on this side, half on this side. And then we'll be doing something different in the middle here. Um, probably just going the straight up lines. Let's see if we can actually do that now, maybe. Um, this might be little difficult let's see if we um do that oh that's right this isn't like planet coaster where you just just select everything like using the control which i really wish they would implement into this game because that is such a nice feature you know just if you don't want it selected it doesn't have to be selected um, so let's go ahead and, I mean, I really should have just built this differently, but it's too late now. So we just, we can't go back. They're all from like, underneath. These are, there's a lot of clicking going on here, and I do apologize for that. 
Um, and then we have to deselect some of these. Wow, those are like really hard to click underneath here. Oh, and then, you know, you just click on the wrong group and then it just deselects everything. Um, so let's try it one more time. Wait, what am I selected? Oh, um, I don't want to be placing letters. No, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'll be, um, rebuilding this little section anyway, and then, um, we'll, we'll go from there. We'll make it work. I promise. Um, but yeah. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm sorry we didn't get more done. Um, but we've got something going on here. And you know what? We're at $19,000. I think we have to end the episode, though, because I don't have enough time to record another big time lapse. So we're going to hop... Or we're going to end the episode. Next episode, we'll start with a straight-up time-lapse, get these animals in, and take a look at them. So, thanks for hanging out, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Alright, if you are still here, you are the real OG. Like, honestly, thank you so much for continuing to watch this next little part. Um, if you are still here, why don't you leave me something in the comments? Like, I don't know, saying like still here or you got this or i don't know maybe what you last ate i don't know or maybe what your favorite animal is in the game or an animal that i should put in the game or you could do all of the above that would be so cool um but yeah here we are just adding a roof onto this um little area we have $21,000 to work with this time, and I promise you it is enough to get at least everything done in this time lapse that I am needing to get done. We are even going to be getting the animals in at the end of the time lapse, uh, but if you want to skip the time lapse, go ahead, because I'm going to go over everything that I did in the time lapse after the time lapse. That was a lot of time lapse. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I left that little gap open. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Um, but it, it's, it's there. Um, and yeah, so we're just actually using the concrete, uh, barrier because I didn't really want to go and add like an actual barrier, mainly because I didn't want to run out of money, but also because I don't really have any inspiration for this building yet. Uh, but I do plan to go back and make it look better. Um, at least better than just this plain concrete building, you know. Um, but yeah, I I think so far it looks really good and I'm really happy with it. Um, now we're going to go ahead and edit this roof. Um, I decided like, hey, it looks great and all, but I'm going to save it for somewhere later in the park. So I'm just going to create a brand new roof. Um, because I thought overall it wasn't that hard to make, and so I definitely thought I could duplicate it. It did take quite a while here, um, so you'll see with me see me messing with this for quite a while. I just couldn't decide on how I wanted to build it, and I do wish I would have built it a little bit longer, um, which you you'll see why um, at the end. But hey, I'm not gonna like discredit myself because. I still think it looks really cool, and I think it looks, honestly, maybe even a little bit better than the other one that's already standing there. Um, so if you didn't see that one, or if, um, yeah, if you didn't see that one, just uh, hold on and wait. Um, and yeah, so I was going to try to be a little smarter and do it a little differently. Um, then I built the other one, but then that wasn't really working, and so I decided... Um, to just build it the exact same way because it was easy enough to build. Um, and here, instead of doing the whole side on like both the sides, um, I decided to only do the end point because that will make the circle, um, actually complete. So that's what we did. 
um, and I think it turned out really good um, just making sure like the heights are right and it actually was a lot easier to delete because you could see what was there from before and what needed to just kind of go um, so then we're able to easily duplicate it and move it to the other side and then we're just going to add in a middle pillar here um, to cover up the rest of the roof and I honestly think it looks really good. I did have some troubles lining it up, um, which, you know, it happens, especially when you're going on a circle and then you need to get it back onto like a grid base, like good luck. Um, but yeah, I think we overall accomplished what we set out to do, which was make this area beautiful. And I think it is, we don't have any foliage in the area yet. Um, but like I said, I'll be doing that all next episode. Um, when I do areas like this, I like to do the path first, then any shops that are going to be included, then any like barriers that are going to be there. And then I'll go back in detail, um, like the shop coverings and everything like that. And the foliage is always the very last thing because I don't want to cover up what I built with an, um, the... I want to keep the sight lines good and then I also like if we're adding animals to the area I don't want to give them foliage that they're not going to like you know you know what I'm saying like they want sun so I'm not going to give them like 10 huge trees you know um, but yeah so that's why we'll be doing foliage and rocks and water and all that kind of good stuff in the next episode. Um, if you don't build like that, I do encourage you just to try it because you might like it. And it might be actually like what works best for you. Um, and yeah, so here we're just going around adding a railing so it's a little less dangerous for all of the guests. It's still a little dangerous because the, um, the wall beneath the um, path actually goes out further than the path does and yeah here I was just trying to uh, cheat the game a little bit but then I remembered like hey we can just do whole shop signs or shop covers and then we'll be good and um, yeah I think that's actually gonna wrap up the time lapse here we're actually just gonna get the animals in and then that'll be it for this time lapse. I hope you guys are um, not too disappointed in me. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see your comments. And yeah, uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you in the live time. All right, so with the lack of episodes, I decided I um, wouldn't make you guys wait for the next episode to see what we finished out with. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and press pause. If you did not see... Uh, where are you going? That, you, you have to go all the way around, buddy. Wait, where are you going? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So we have to get um, all of the staff facilities in because we are having issues. So let's... Go ahead and do that. I don't know where's the best. Probably just back here. If we're being honest. Okay, let's just go ahead and get the uh, quarantine right there. And then the staff, the vet surgery. There we go. And now we should have all of the buildings. Um, so that should be wonderful. And yeah, so if you did not see, we are getting in the African wild dogs right over here. We'll be getting the spotted hyenas right over here. Um, I'm fairly certain that this is not enough space for them. So that is why I did not detail. I just want to make sure we have enough space for the animals before going on any further and decorating. Because once I decorate, I just like to have... Like to know that it's in its final state um, but while we wait for the animals to arrive we can go ahead and we can get in the donation boxes let's go ahead and put one here and there 
and right in the middle for both of them. We put this one right here, and then the other one like right there. Perfect. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this whole area turned out. Um, I like the the different heights because that does introduce more shade. Um, I don't know where I learned that, but it was definitely in Planet Zoo that I learned it. Um, but yeah, I do know we need to get more... Um... Oh, tickets are underpriced. Let's go, go up to 12 and... Eight? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, we have a bunch of diseased animals. I think we need to get more keepers in. I think we need more keepers. Because, yeah, we got high workloads. And that is never good. We never want high workloads. We want good workloads. We need more mechanics as well. Um, just kind of going through and managing everything. Um, how about some vets? Um, and I see that we need some more staff buildings as well. So let's go ahead and add a staff building. Um, staff facilities. Staff room. We can't afford the big one, but we can afford the small one. Um, so I guess that is what we will do. And, oh, that, not, not on top of the surgery. Alright, yeah, we got our hyenas in. Um, let's just go ahead and see. Yeah, they do need more land. Not much more, though, actually, which is really surprising. What about the wild dog? They will definitely need more. Actually, can we get a female <gasps> we can okay yes please awesome okay we snagged that one go ahead and just put it in there in, th in that um we have increased the meerkat rating to four percent awesome perfect all right um so i think that will end today's episode um i hope you guys i didn't disappoint you guys too much um i do plan on decorating these habitats next episode um but i hope that this was enough um to tide you over until the next episode which hopefully won't be another like two week wait uh but absolutely no promises because life is crazy and unpredictable um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out and we will catch you all in the next one. Bye.